losers. I was uh, trying really hard. Oh, they're just jumping right into it. Fountain. What do you think about that? Do you think they struck or just agreed on this? They probably struck. I can't really see them being like, hey, you want to go to Fountain? Oh, yeah, sure. I don't see how this detriments Puff, though. Because uh, I, I know that Tuesday wants to play on the ground a lot, but like, I think he would adapt here because it's Icy's. I have to say that he dash attacks into a grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, there's a stock lead. I think a stock lead means a little bit more in an Icy's matchup. Yeah, than, uh, two, than it does two has a history of getting uh, getting tilted by wobbling. So I really want to see him like overcome that here. There he goes, as we say it, blessed by the 69, and he loses it. The double spot dodge. <laughs> I know, I know I shouldn't be talking about a set that's not going on right now, but man. It, it's fresh in the minds. All Go the, for it. All, yeah. all those, each game that I lost just came down to one thing on last stock every single time. Yeah. That last one, he, he kind of solidified his play a lot more. But the two in between. Yeah, the, the FD in the first, first Yoshi's Yoshi's game, yeah. I, I don't want to say I threw leads. He definitely like put in a lot mm -hmm. of work to, to clutch him out, but it hurts. It hurts. Hey, there's a lot in there, you can see. Um, I think I gave some good insight. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I'm definitely um, gonna watch it. They're, um, uh, they're looking pretty even here after the, the equalizer. Just uh, trading aerials here and there. That should be a stock, yeah. The double down smash. You eat both those mallets, yeah. you hear it, and you're like, ah. Now, I know, like, almost nothing about this matchup. I would assume you just camp with Puck and yeah, back air them. Yeah, there's um, not too much defensive play you get on the icy side, aside from, like, short hop up air, short hop back air. And those are both, like, reads. You have to tell when they're coming in. Mm -hmm. You have to be in the right spot for both of them. So on the Puff side, you're really just trying to bait one of those out and then react with the appropriate back air or nair. You can drill in between their shields too, and uh, if Nana reacts poorly, you can just rest her out of it too. That's the dirty part. That's no. why uh, Puff still wins this. Now two is, um, as far as Puffs go, he's really grounded. Like, yeah. He spends a lot of time on the ground, more so than other Puffs. That's why this stage is kind of odd. Yeah, I feel like um, he really needs to minimize all that ground contact just so he doesn't get grabbed. So at the worst, he just gets clipped by some up airs or a back air here and there. Like that, that was a pretty seasoned, uh, what is it, uh, side B from him there? Because he did it high enough just outside so that he couldn't get grabbed at the end of it. He rose it and he was right in front of his shield, but he went for the shield grab and he missed it. He was at that perfect spacing right above. And that that's really good. A lot of puffs would just pound into the shield, miss it, get shield grab, yeah. Get wobbled. And he lost Nana for it. It's usually a good sign of losing the stock first. Now that going, so going put, into so this deep. tournament, um, <laughs> obviously I really wanted to win, but if there's a player that I wanted to see win and get that prize more than me, it's Tuesday. Too Saint. Too Saint? He, he puts in the work. Probably deserves it more than I do. Slogs hasn't been going to as much that I've seen. He goes to smaller like regional tournaments here and there. Uh, so that's why like I kind of expected him to come out. But at the same time, I, I feel like he's on an equal playing ground with mm -hmm. I was guys like to see Lint at this. you and these two. Yeah, I was surprised too. You would have been in winner's finals probably with him. Probably, yeah. You would have probably had to run into him. <laughs> yeah, and I would have hated every second of it. Uh, I hate have five This is a uh, almost five minute game. Standard. I would say standard, definitely. And we're lucky that it's a smaller stage. Yep, can't wait for uh, Dreamland, it's gonna be fun. Interacting the whole time though. This all comes down to one big neutral win. I like on how the he, ground. I like how he threw Popo up. Ooh, Takes some time for him to come down, switch to Nana. He got hit out of his throw there. That's rough. That Ooh, could be a stock big. if he kills Nana here. Yeah, that's how you do it. It's hard to come back from. One more down smash though. Okay, yeah. That'll do it. What's up? <laughs> um. 
Oh, this is oh, Ted's I, I threw it in the trash. After that first down smash, that, that like got him super close. What did I do with that? This is, Here, that's I'll be right it. back. I gotta remedy this. Oh, no, it's not. That's great DI. Oh, my God. I'm getting baited. <laughs> now it's hype. All right, I had to wait. I had to wait five minutes and fifteen seconds for this this tension right here. This is intense. One smash attack from either of these players or a back air, a really good back air. Ooh, risky, risky hair dodge. Is he gonna come down? Oh, he came down with an arrow. Oh, dude, this is getting hype. <laughs> He's at 161 percent, but one smash attack from either of them is gonna end this. One strong. Oh my god. Read? Oh, he spot god, dodged. He spot dodged. Might have been a wave dash. Oh, that's oh, it. He poke. poked it. 161% oh, after six minutes. I'm so. That's I'm, what we wait six minutes for that interaction. I'm so back and forth on whether shield pokes are cool or not. Oh. At that, like, when he's just standing still, he shields thinking he's going to get away with it and then gets poked, it's heartbreaking. But, like, if there's you're. No, there was no, like, out. You didn't now play him. Right. He, he wasn't just, going. I'm going to go, go for the shield poke. He went for it. He just down smashed his shield and it went right through it. And that's just a puff shield thing. It was almost full, but it was small enough just to, to lose his stock for it. Uh, they're jumping right back in, Battlefield. Um, he did the same thing uh, with you. He went to FD instead of Dreamland. Do you think if you took one of the Yoshi's games, he was going to take you to Dreamland? Um, he probably would. I mean, he wouldn't have really had a choice if... if um, he would have had found. Yeah. Because that would have messed up your lasers. As, uh, even a little bit would have made a pretty big difference. Maybe. Um, I, I feel pretty confident on, on Dreamland. Because Falco can control more space than Puff can. And with that extra space, Falco can really make it a slog for Puff. Mm -hmm. Alright, they are averaging about a stock every right. minute and a half, two minutes. And that's the first one. This is the only matchup you get to see Puff turn the tables, killing with up smash. <laughs> and uh, Luigi, I think. <laughs> yeah, Luigi too. I love the Puff up smash. It's fast. Don't really see it coming when you're, you're doing like loose shield pressure that's not completely airtight and it just up smashes out of shield. This is a uh, good spacing to get these drop through back airs, but at the same time, he's done it for a few stocks. Uh, JJM hasn't been like dashing back, dashing in for grabs. Sort of just playing dash in and then do something. He's not dashing, dashing in dash and faking in. out and running back out, just which is like a staple. Going for jabs. Yeah. The classic. He's not bobbing and weaving, he's just bobbing. Yep. Okay, he's putting in some weaving here now. See there, there's some weaving there. Oh, I should have rolled out. Not the worst, not the best punish. Uh, wow. That forward arrow kill. But he loses Nana for it. You see him shaking his head. It's rough. I've never seen forward arrow kill like that. I, it's not supposed to. Everyone expects you to get the downward hit, so I guess that's why if they're DIing it to the side or up, kill you a little bit earlier. We're definitely seeing a lot more like mid-height platform play, which is definitely why he likes Battlefield way more, because he gets grounded play that's still above Ice Climbers. Yeah, as long as he's not uh, on the same plane yeah. as the Ices. So, so like he's, he gets forward. to drop through and then land back up top again. Oh, wow. Ooh, Ooh, getting for fancy. Ooh, like... Didn't want to wobble. I didn't think, he didn't think it was guaranteed. So cool. But he, he got that first back throw grab, uh, re-grab. So I think he could have wobbled right after that. I mean, prop, props to JJM, you know, you got to respect a guy uh, that, yeah. that <laughs> doesn't just go, just wobble in the second he can. Of course. Honestly, not many non-top 100 ICs you, you see even go for it. Mm -hmm. And even then, most of the time, money's on the line, you're going to go for the wobble. Yeah. I but did see that at... Uh, Round one of top 64 at CEO, Flipsy had to play cool line. Wow. That's a shame. 
Uh, he lost Nana already, 30%. She had to be near the same. He is also taking liberties with getting a lot more aggressive when Nana's gone. Rightfully so. Well, yeah, I mean, once, once Nana's gone, you're, it's like you're playing a normal character again. <laughs> playing one-on-one. On one. <laughs> he's going for these Ooh, soft forward oh, airs. Okay. Oh, uh, do you think he's trying to get hard ones, or he's trying to get soft fair into bear? He probably just wants to carry him off stage for just an easy edge guard. Cleans it up anyway, not too much percent. I never see much rests in this matchup. I mean, for good reason. You gotta get a really good read to get like an up tilt or like a a nair in between both of them. Because you, you can't knock them down. So there's no real jab reset or like tech chase on like a platform you can get with it. It's just a hard read for a rest. He's not he's not having many opportunities for up airs too. So yeah, that could, he could get a lot of his rest Oof. opportunities out of that. But most of the time, he's above he's above JJM camping them platforms. And now should be dead here, keeping him occupied so he can't save her. Ooh, okay, trades. He's opting for soft hits every time he's off stage. Yeah, Ooh. we don't want to see a repeat of last game. <laughs> just I, forg I already safe. forgot GJM took game one. That was... Alright, there, All right, we, there go. we go. Equal. Love that upstairs. 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think he's going to take him to Pokemon. I don't think he'll pull out FD just yet. And if he does, I mean, I it's the other way around. Oh. Yoshi's story. Dang. So surprising as both. He might think that that's two Saints counter pick. He's no peach, but definitely can't see. I mean, he probably just wants the small stage, so two can't can't run around and camp him. Fair enough. You need to do less weaving here. Ah, cheeky forward smash. You can still kill Nana Opt off this. for the juggle as opposed to just hitting her off stage. Hey, that's also a mix-up. Going for one after the other rather than killing one. It's like playing doubles in a 1v2. Yeah, like, like I get the idea. You hit, hit Nana up and then it takes her a little while to come down. You can focus on Popo. But if I, feel, I feel like if he hits her off stage, it'll take her longer to get back. And then that kind of puts puts JGM in a weird position where he has to go to the ledge to try and save her. Yeah, you're forcing him into it. A bad position. And you really only can't go to save her if you're like confident you're gonna take the stock. And that's rough also. That was a good up air, but that was even better than crouch cancel. Because if he got the up air, he probably couldn't have been in a rest position. One of the rare opportunities. Oh, Miss Reed. This stage is also a pretty bad counter pick uh, for ice climbers in general. I don't know about JJM, just because in situations like that where Nana has a jump and can, uh, can come back and Randall's out, she goes for Randall and dies every time. Oh, because the AI is like, oh, there's she a thinks platform there's a ledge have to get it. on Randall. And she just doesn't go for the platform, she just goes for the edge of Randall. Oh, nice. wow. <laughs> Nice programming. It's awful. <laughs> Ooh, went right. for that. Died for it. This looks like this counter Still pick is quite working out. Yeah. Two then again, we, one of those we see pups. two neutral wins and a down smash, and he can he can take a stop. It's just hard because two Saints short hop and a lot more. That's that's actually a one frame link. That's, that's really? hard to get. Yeah, Puff is the hardest character to regrab wow. for, out of everyone in the game. That's impressive. Good confidence under pressure. It makes the percent lead not as bad because if he gets a grab, he evens it back up. Yeah, if his percent doesn't really matter that much right now. One grab is the lead.
it makes me laugh all every time though hearing the Fortnite kids <laughs> trash talking each other while I'm watching this every time. Yeah. Ooh, reverse absolutely. It, add, it adds to the, the charm of the room. <laughs> the, the angry Fortnite kids. Back to the one stock lead. On JJM's counter pick. Yeah, two two really likes this stage. Um, deals with the space really well. He's uh he's having a great time out there on his, his fireplace and his Kindle camping up there on the side platform. Yeah, like you, you pick Yoshi's to try and minimize the camping, but he doesn't really have he's not having much trouble. He's not matching uh, the verticality. That's you have to camp as ice climbers on the platform. Force puff on the ground. It's easier to get from the side platform to the ground than it is to get from the ground to the side platform. So like he's going for that up air, but he's not going to the top platform after to try to follow up. Mm -hmm. He's just getting the up air. He really should try and contest these platforms. He's just staying on the ground for the entire game. Maybe trying to. Whoa, oh my god. That was. To shark the landing. No one expects that reverse Scary hit. Scary situations. All said and done, after a rough first five minutes, he could still take the game with the wobble. It's all on the table. Wow. One more? Okay. Oh, he mashed, mashed for his wow. life. Just outside the blizzard space, too. Makes me so so anxious seeing that. Every time I see a happen. smash attack and he quickly jumps out of it, I'm like, he's gonna get grabbed. <laughs> oh, nice. Separating him. He gets one more, uh. Good head on Nana. Oh, lost it. Back in sync. It's not even at the point where just killing Nana would be a good yeah, he's, sure fire he's way. Die to a down smash. That's the one really good part about this stage, I guess, in the end. Yeah, so I, I don't blame him for going for Sopo, like, pretty exclusively in that that last interaction. Just try and close it out. There we go. It's rough, though, because the situations like that, that could kill Nana, that puts him with uh, just Sopo, are ones that will kill him also. So mm -hmm. he's got to risk that. So he's going down, two to one. Think he's I going back? He did pick it. No, I don't know if he's going. <sighs> Probably yeah, FD, FD over bogey, bro. I think this game is gonna be longer than the last one. Yeah, this one, this one's gonna be a slog. He won neutral three times and uh, only gave 30%. It was rough. It's rough for both of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad I don't have to play this matchup ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my, uh, one of my roommates, his son, um, and I played Ices when I first met him. So uh, I played this matchup a lot. You, you, played, the, you played the Ditto? No, no, no. Uh, Puff Isis. Oh. Well, Sun is a... Ice Climbers. Yeah. Yeah, I played Puff. Oh. Um, I learned way too much about this one matchup. <laughs> You're the right man for the mic. A lot of odd neutral exchanges that I've learned from in my life. <laughs> Also, commentating at Nebs is so fun, and you learn a lot, especially from DJ Nintendo. Shout out to DJ, he's nowhere near this setup, but. <laughs> yeah, D DJ is the, the commentary god. Alright, two faster stocks than usual, actually. These two stocks were taken uh, in a minute and a half. Yeah, and before this is the fastest the game of the set. Maybe I'll without the my words, he's yeah. not as comfortable with uh, camping. It looks like he doesn't even need the camping. He's getting some heavy strings. Yeah, wow. That's a, that's a dead on. Oh, oh got her. no. He Not for long, didn't put the pressure on. Oh, he missed the ledger he grabbed. Oh, magnet hands. She is clinging on to life. She's got to be at 80% at least. Maybe 100. 
I was expecting an F smash there. Probably would have hit Nana. Yeah. I think in a situation like that where he knows they're at such a crazy different percent, he's going for like an up, a short hop up air, which is riskier, but it'll separate them and he'll get the guaranteed kill on one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> JJM smirking a little bit. <laughs> Stock can still go either way for both of them. I'd be su pretty surprised if the Sopo takes it here. With, yeah. Especially with that. That's guaranteed and it hurts. Drill up smash. Up uh, 75%. There's no escaping a grab though. As long as he doesn't touch the ground. Oh, there wow. Is. Oh, he wasn't even touching the ground. Wanted to finish it off right away. That little hesitation to say mashed so hard. Oh my god. You don't normally see mashes this good. Last time I saw a mash that good, honestly, was IBDW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a masher. You don't want to play him in Mario Party. <laughs> and two has some, uh, some Ice Climbers PTSD, so I'm sure that he's sitting at home, he, he sits at home practicing his mash, just sitting in bed with his controller, it's not even plugged in. <laughs> as many I buttons as possible, APM hitting 600. He finally found that uh, F smash though. It's a harder stock to take. Yeah. Let's hope for it. Yeah. That should be shit though. Yeah. Took a down smash for it, but that's okay. It's a 12% down smash, That that's awful. Really, Fox gets 18 off a of bear, <laughs> and then this poor character's smash attack doesn't do as much. Well, sometimes it could get a 24, oh. a 24 out of it. Oh, oh that is, that's brutal. You're saying, he feels a little bit of weight off of him right now. Yeah. That's a lot less work that he has to do. It's a big sigh of relief. Even if JJM goes out here, though, Third place with, uh, with you guys all in the bracket. It's respectable. Yeah, this was a um, this was a pretty pretty cool bracket. A lot of a uh, lot of good sets being played. Who put you in losers? Warmer. Warmer. Warmer and Fish it taken out. Two of the three best players in here. <laughs> Yeah, Wormer, Wormer's really good, and um, I'm I'm not so confident in the Ditto. He kind of pooped on me a little bit. Well, game two anyway. Nice I grab. He's not he's not going for instant pummels. He's just grabbing and hesitating, and he's dropped at least two or three waffles off that. It's kind of rough to see. It's a good tomahawk there. Cheeky. Walked up for the grab. Got spot dodged. Alright, these dash attacks is getting a lot of mileage out of them. It's got nano kills off of them every this time. Is looking like lights unless we see some god tier play for the next stock and a half. Yeah. Two I don't, if, if it would really take a miracle <laughs> at this point. It's been so done. So versus two puff stocks? I don't know. Has it been done? It's, it's kind of done somewhere out there. I don't know if we'll get to see it today, but... Uh, another backer? Yeah, I like that, though. Just getting closer and closer to drill up smash. Yeah, that's what he's, he's looking for. Just get each percent, one hit at a time. Every soft aerial trade leads to that guarantee. He's just looking for a down smash here. Up oh, barrel kill him. Yep, just keep up throwing him. Keep oh. making him come down. There it is. Good games. 3-1-2 Saint. Grand finals. Not a 